This is video number 371. Today we will discuss the Herodomber growth model. The Herodomber model of growth and development is a Keynesian type model of economic growth which is used in development economics to explain how economies growth in terms of the level of savings and uh, of capital. It suggests that there is no natural reason for any economy to have a balanced growth. This model was developed independently by Herod in 1939 and uh, Domer in 1946, although a similar model had also been proposed by Gustav Kessel in 1924. The Herodomer model was the precursor to the exogenous growth model. Uh, Herod Domer basically, uh, Herod basically wrote a paper, an essay in dynamic theory, the economic journal in its uh, 49th volume and uh, its DOI number is given if someone is interested and the paper written by Domer is a capital expansion rate of growth and uh, employment and this paper was uh, published in Econometrica volume 4 number 2. According to Harry Domer growth model, every economy must save a certain proportion of its national income if only to replace the worn out, worn out capital goods including buildings, equipment and uh, materials. However, in order to grow, new investments represent, representing net addition to the capital stock are also necessary. If we assume that there is some direct economic relationship between the size of total capital stock K and total GDP Y. For example, if $3 of capital is always necessary to produce uh, one unit of uh, GDP, that is one annual $1 stream of GDP, it follows that any net addition to the capital stock in the form of new investment will bring about corresponding increases in the inflow of uh, national output, that is GDP. Suppose that this relationship known as uh, the capital output ratio in economics is uh, roughly 3 to 1. If we also define the capital output ratio as K and assume further that the national net savings ratio is S and it is a fixed proportion of national output, say for example 6 percent, the total new investment is determined by the level of total savings which uh, we can construct the following model of economic growth. Uh, so we start like this, net saving S is uh, some proportion S of national income Y such that we have equation number one. Uh, net investment I is defined as the change in the capital stock K represented by delta K such that I is equal to delta K. Because the total capital stock K bears a direct relationship to the national income or output Y as expressed by the capital output ratio C, it follows that the ratio of uh, capital stock to uh, GDP is equal to capital output ratio or change in capital divided by change in national output is equal to C or finally uh, delta K is equal to C delta Y uh, which is shown by equation 3. Finally, because net national savings S must be equal to net investment, we can write this equality as uh, S is equal to I represented by equation 4. But from equation number 1, we know that S is equal to small s y and from equation 2 and 3, we know that uh, I is equal to delta K C delta Y. It is therefore uh, that we can write the identity of savings equaling investment shown by equation 4 as uh, S is equal to small s y and that is equal to capital output ratio delta y and that is equal to delta k and that is equal to i. So or simply we can write s y is equal to c delta y uh, dividing both sides by equation of equation number 6 first by y and then by c 
we obtain the following expression that is delta y over y is equal to uh, saving ratio divided by capital output ratio. So, delta y over y is uh, the growth rate of uh, GDP, uh, S is the national saving, net national saving and uh, V is the capital output ratio. Now, we must note that the left hand side of equation 7 that is delta y over y represents the rate of change or rate of growth of GDP. Equa equation 7 which is a simplified version of the famous equation in Herod Domer theory of economic growth states simply that the rate of growth of GDP that is delta y over y is determined jointly by the net national savings ratio and uh, the net the national capital output ratio C. More specifically it says that in the absence of government the growth rate of national income will be directly or positively related to the saving ratio that is higher the S the greater the growth rate of uh, GDP and inversely are negatively related to the economy's capital output ratio that is higher the capital output ratio lower the rate of GDP. Suppose a country has a gross saving rate of 6 percent and uh, then incremental capital output ratio of 3 using the Herodomer growth model we may find the implied rate of growth of total GDP in the country as follows. And uh, if we put these values, if you plug these values in the equation uh, number 7, uh, then we get that the national growth rate of GDP is equal to 2 percent. Now, if the national saving rate can somehow be increased from 6 to say 15 percent through some combination of the increased taxes, foreign aid and general consumption sacrifices, GDP growth can be increased from 2 to 5 percent because now delta y over y is equal to s over v is equal to 15 percent divided by 3 and that gives us 5 percent rate of growth of GDP in a country. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this was uh, a brief description of the simplified version of uh, Herodomer growth model. Uh, this is very straightforward and simple. I hope uh, uh, my students and followers uh, uh, could easily understand this. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly do subscribe the channel and uh, do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get notification about my other videos. Thanks for watching the video.